We are not under tradition of law. Read the second lesson again. Second lesson, Luke chapter 4 verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. The freedom of the captives. Have all the things enumerated not come to pass? Is the Spirit of God not upon you? Have you gone out to preach the gospel? Have you refrained from stealing, quarreling, telling lies, causing division and the rest of the vices? Is there any sign of understanding in you? That is the work of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is, why he said, if the world hates you, you should realize the Spirit of God, which is the Spirit of salvation, is upon you. Whoever abides in this Spirit is a child of God, and cannot be loved by the world. Such Spirit is the Spirit of kinship and glory. Moreover, it is the greatest of all spirits and it is of God. That is why, whenever a member of brotherhood arrives at any place, all demonic spirits in such a place are destroyed. The Holy Spirit is the Father and the One dwelling in you. You should always bear in mind, you are not controlled by angel, or man, but the Father himself, who dwells in you. But the thoughts of what to eat, drink and put on, does not allow you to know him, and feel his presence in you. Many of you pray to the Father, to help you secure a good husband or wife, make your business profitable, and your farm to bring out a bumper harvest. Do you think the Father has come to do any of such things? It is said, the Spirit of God is upon me, to go and preach the gospel. When God is with you, who will be against you? He, the God, who created heaven and earth, has come to live with us. Why then do you lament? He is money, he is life, he is the truth and wealth. He is everything to everyone. Why then do you enslave yourself to a fellow man? Absolute freedom. In the kingdom of God, there is absolute freedom. There is no sickness or hunger, and above all, there is no death. Your problem is ignorance. You are spiritually blind, while your eyes are open. That is, why I always pity you, because you do not know, where you are. God is an epitome of perfection. He is all-knowing excellent, perfect and righteous. He is peace, joy, power, harmony, life everlasting, truth and all the virtues. Therefore, once you possess these virtues, as nominated by God, you will have no problems, even all the angels will worship you. Once you possess these qualities, you will cease to be afraid of any person, or thing, and everything will be subjected under your feet. Instead of practicing his injunctions, you rather prefer to steal, drink, smoke, tell lies, indulge in idolatry and to live abominably. You are easily annoyed, you quarrel, fight, kill and reject God. If the Spirit of God is upon you, why do you continue to steal, get angry, doubt, deceive, and to shed tears? You lament and acknowledge the presence of juju and witchcraft. It means, you are still devoid of the Spirit of God. Whenever you are in doubt with the Spirit of God, that gives you justification, and the right of sonship. Once you are controlled by the Holy Spirit, you would realize what is expected of you. For instance, you will be patient, truthful, humble, meek and generally godly. Once the Spirit of God is upon you, you will not wait to be ordered to go out and preach the gospel, or to refrain from evil. It is said, amongst those that believed, and had the Spirit of God upon them, they went and sold all the things they had, and brought the proceeds therefrom to the apostles. But those who did not believe, and were without the Spirit of God like Ananias, even though they had sold all they had, hid some of the proceeds. When Peter asked Ananias, why he should tempt the Lord his God, he reminded him, when the farm was not yet sold, it belonged to him. And after the harvest, the proceeds therefore also belonged to him. Peter reproached him for lying to the Holy Spirit. Ananias fell immediately and died. The wife also came and repeated what her husband did, and also fell down and died. Such is the spirit that is obtainable in this kingdom. This spirit does not tolerate any sinful act or evil. I do not see evil nor hear of it. It is only you, the members who talk about and see evil. I have been telling you repeatedly, all those who shout, stamp their feet, and clap their hands are completely devoid of the Holy Spirit, and are merely deceiving themselves. The situation could be compared to threatening a crying baby, with the sight of a masquerade. And so, in order to stop a child from crying, the mother may mention the coming of the masquerade. This is exactly what is done by the world. I have nothing to do with evil at all. God is not a respecter of persons. 
He does not tell lies, he does not cheat nor is he corrupt. Therefore, you should go into all the four corners of the world, with the teaching I have imparted to you. There is no sickness, death and nothing at all. Just believe in him, and obey him, for you will have no problem at all. He rules over the heaven, and earth. In short, while all the security agents, like police and army, will cease to exist. Courts of law will cease to operate. What is needed in this kingdom is oneness. A time is coming when there shall no longer be visa and passport needed before traveling to other countries. If you are in doubt with the Holy Spirit, you would realize apart from the Holy Spirit, nothing exists in the world at all. The clothing we wear, the food we eat, and all the material things we attach much interest to, are nothing before God. I would have proved Christ wrong, if... If our Lord Jesus Christ had claimed responsibility for anything he did, I would have proved him wrong. He never said so, because it is the same Spirit, God that is responsible for everything. I also tell you, I am not the one who is responsible for anything in this kingdom. I am only a witness to everything that is done by God. If you are led by the Spirit of God, He will open your eyes. Equally, I speak to you in spirit and not in the flesh. I have nothing to do with the flesh. My concern is with love, oneness and righteousness. A person who is devoid of the Spirit of God cannot do any good thing. It therefore means, all those who do evil are in the flesh, and are not in the Spirit of God. This is exactly, why you do not have the Spirit of God. This is exactly what you have to go and preach to the world. You have seen this truth in me. All those who abide in the Spirit of God are indebted to their friends, families and the people of the world. These are the people you are charged to preach this gospel to. Teach them this truth, the love, oneness and equality. It is not your duty to impute sins on any person, nor to acknowledge the existence of juju, mermaid, witchcraft or any other evil. It is not your duty to cheat, to tell lies, to defraud or covet. If you do so, what will be the difference between you and the world? You should be informed, the Spirit of God is upon you, to preach the gospel of deliverance and freedom. Do not oppress any person, do not cheat any person, do not be angry with your fellow human, and do not engage in any evil. Live peaceably with your fellow human, and encourage all to grow in the Spirit of God, you can do this by going out, to preach freedom, to all. Preach about the love and unity of all. Do not have faith in any human, and do not believe in a human being. Believe in God and have faith in Him. He is the one who sustains us, He feeds and protects all of us. He abides in you, teaches you, and does everything, for you. Do not cast your hope on anyone or thing, other than God. Whoever has God is a free person, and has no stumbling blocks on his or her way. The entire world is facing difficulties, because they are without the Holy Spirit. Whoever is devoid of the Holy Spirit is lifeless. This is, why it has become necessary for all people to seek for the Holy Spirit, and abide in Him. It is expedient for all of you to go out, and inform the people, God has come. That, since He is holy, He requires all to be holy too. Here in this kingdom, we are not bound by the rules and regulations of man. We have nothing to do with the tradition and culture of men. The Holy Spirit is the only teacher and provider. He has no deputy. We should believe in Him, and do right. Once you are fastidious, weak, or become angry, you have made yourself unworthy, and have also lost the kingdom of God. The kingdom does not admit lies, hatred, deceit, division or any vice at all. If you obey him you are free, and free indeed. Believe in him, and cast all your problems to him, for he cares. He knows everything, and he is the only one capable of solving your problems. Do not contest his actions or resist his will. He provides both the rain and sun, when it becomes necessary. He has come to dwell with us on earth. Whoever believes in him is saved. Whoever fails to believe in him should blame himself. You should be holy, as he is. If God has set you free, who can enslave you? In this kingdom, there is neither Jew nor Greek. You do not need to pray to God at all. He knows your problems, and what to do. Recently, members of Brotherhood intended to go on a pilgrimage to Biapin. The only reasonable route to the place was not accessible. The ferry had broken down. To enable the children of God to travel to Biapin, as planned by God at that same time, the governor of Cross River State visited the local government area, thus, necessitating the rehabilitation of the ferry to carry people, and also to repair the road. 
by Akron. In due season will be an important city with a good road.